So let's start, let's just look at the basic structure of the EU wizard. Now, if you haven't done your homework yet, you can reach the manual and the website from here. As for the structure, it's pretty simple. There are four main tabs on the left. From the home tab where we are now, you can load presets. The strategy tab you will mainly use to set parameters, but global money management options will also be found here. Trading rules is where you will work most of the time. And lastly, here you will have your rules to be transformed into MetaQuote source files. As they are now, these examples are not ready for live trading, but they can be used as presets to save time. What I mean by that is that if you know you want to use, for example, a swing low trial for position management, you can build your strategy upon that. Usually every strategy will contain some of the same core elements, so it's not time efficient to always start from the blank. Now let's talk about farm management a bit. It's a good way to think about strategy development as pharmaceutical research. You will have a simple idea on how to get into a position, some experience on what to do when you are there, and from that it's a long road of testing and optimizing to get it safer and more profitable. Some strategies will remain simple, but sometimes they end up with a lot of options and 30-40 rules to cover every detail. It's important to use clear threads about every rule and parameter, so anytime you get back working on it, you will know what's happening. It's also common to change something only to find out later that the original version was better. Now, since there is no undo button, it's essential to save every new version into a new file. I use different version numbers for major changes, and also name what improvements was made, so later on I know where to come back. As for the source files, in the new version, MetaTrader stores them in a quite remote place. In order to see your experts here, you will need to copy them into the MQL4 Experts folder. It's deep within the application data folder. It's hidden as a default, so make it visible in the control panel to be able to reach it. You save a lot of time if you save your project files directly where they will be translated anyway. Now, to try that out, we will make a quick script uh, using Gear Wizard. Let's say you're a manual trader, and after finding some uh, resistance levels, you decided to enter the market with a long position. Normally, you would have to type the price of your stop, figure out the right size to risk, and all that, and by that time, you can just as well make a quick script for it, and uh, it will make everything for you. As for that, I load the setup, and uh, quickly set the parameters I will use. Right now I only need the uh, target and the stop in pips. Let's say 50 and uh, 10 for the stop loss. Of course later on I can change all that. As for the magic numbers, I change it to some random ones to avoid any collision with other running experts. As for the rules to work properly, we will need something uh, in the if section as well. So I set a rule that is always true, and then I quickly add a market order rule in the dance section. Of course, there are many more options for position management more sophisticated than these, but it will do this time. You can add all these directly as numbers, but then you will be unable to change them, and with a fixed stop your strategy will be like a guitar that cannot be tuned. Validation check is the first filter you've got, but it only detects major errors like magic number mismatches. In this case we forgot to name it. Uh, the name will be suggested for the MQ4 file name, so it's good to follow the same rules as with the project file names. Between running a script and an expert, the major difference is that experts are running continuously while scripts are one-time shots. It's important to keep this in mind if you want to add more complex rules. Rules like uh, pulling the stop uh, to break even will work only with experts. Since it's a built code, it will be much longer and more difficult to see through than a normal written one. But with a closer look you will see that all the variables are there at the beginning, with the changeable and hidden parameters separated. You can change the green numbers to have different presets. Now our script is translated into the right folder, so as we click on it, a buy order will be filled at the current price. The stop and take profits are in place, 
and uh, it is just as much as we intend to. With a few clicks in the wizard you can make a cell script as well, or following the next video we will learn alongside the variables how to switch between buy and sell within the same script, not to mention other nice tricks.